Good morning, beautiful beings. Welcome to Begin Within Guidance with me, Wingy Shnibe, Mujeki Kwe, that sweet grass water medicine woman, your friendly, freaky ass medicine woman, also Chrissy Car and Chrissy Car Superstar. Yep, all this beautiful divine being right here. And hello to you beautiful divine beings right here too. I would love it because I haven't seen much introductions, you know. Sometimes it tells me who my subscribers are. Um, other times it didn't. So I would love for you all to introduce yourself some way, somehow. Um, either in the comment sections below or to the side. I don't know. Like me, I didn't know where the comment section was at first. You have to scroll down all the recommended videos. And then at the bottom of that is the comment section. Whether it's below the screen or beside the screen here or that side. I don't know. We'll work this out together. Okay, we'll figure it out. So I thought I'd do a morning star spread. I just did my uh, make the most of it Monday. Apologize, I was not here on the weekend. Had the kids home, so I don't know what I was thinking. Thinking I could <laughs> do the Saturday and Sunday with them home too. Well, I started out this daily guidance actually at the end of the summer when the kids were home. So maybe that's how I thought I could do it. There's a couple path and totems jumping out right now. I'm going to do the morning star, but let's see what they want to say. That aggressiveness and the intention. So what's our intention here, right? Make the most of it Mondays. Let's look at our gifts for the week to send us off into the week. That's why I thought like Morning Star would be great. Morning Star, right, starts with our gifts or challenges. And let's do it for the week. It's a great for the daily spread, but let's do the weekly spread. So let's get um, not aggressive, but that assertiveness, that badger to keep at it. Sometimes we need to keep at things, even when we don't feel like it, right? We need to push ourselves sometimes and, and, and really focus on that intention, right? What do we intend to do, right? Are we intending to choose something to bits or are we intending to stand up for ourselves? So we need to pay attention to that too. I think that's what Badger also can tell us, right? We being aggressive or assertive and what's the intention? So today the intentions for the morning star spread, right? Help us, the energies through the week, the paths, now we are on and the animals helping us that are all there this week, sharing their medicines this week. You know, call on your source and, you know, these, these lessons help. These animals help teach us the lessons, right? Help us, help us hear what source is, is communicating to us. Okay, so let's call in all of our directions and get this morning star started, eh? Okay. And I will be going on my SOS tech. We'll do a live there too. The, made the most of it Mondays. So we call in all of our energies back to us from the east. That's the place of illumination, clarity, the place of fire, the place of man. And we're calling back all of our energies back to us from the south. That's the childhood, the place of emotions, the water, and the place of innocence. And we're calling back all of our energies back to us from the west. That's the place of woman, the physical, the place of introspection, the earth. And we're calling back all of our energies to us from the north. That's the wisdom years. That's uh, our adulthood. That's the mental. That's the air. And we walk this red road from childhood, right? When, hey, we tend to believe everything as children. Good children can be pretty gullible. But children can also be pretty smart, can, can tend to catch on to things too, right? So we must teach them to tell the truth. So we go from childhood into adulthood up in the north from south to north that's the red road the earth walk up into the north where we see how to manifest our needs in a helpful way in the highest and best of all and not just for our own selfish needs okay we get up into adulthood hopefully we've learned that by then and then the blue road of spirit goes from east to west just like the sun blue road of spirit there we go an eagle flies closest to spirit and I am Eagle Clan myself there too. So, Eagle flies closest to spirit. East to west is the blue road of spirit. Right? The ant. And we have patience. We're all going to get there. Don't worry. <laughs> We're all born to die. Excuse me to say it that way. <sighs> but release the fear. So, and have patience if you don't know what you're doing. Or if you feel like you can't hear the messages from the universe. If you feel disconnected from your source, have patience because it's always there. Have patience to feel that. Go easy on yourself. Take your time. Above, below, 
and the within. So that just came into my head as that was like, take your time. For me, I always thought I needed to see something, right? That, that, that would be clear. But remember, that person in their house waiting for that flow, we don't know who's bringing that message or what's bringing that message from creator or source, right? We don't know. So there's help that's being offered and it's help that you need and it seems to come at the time right when you need it. Hmm, right? May just be your source helping you out. Right? Okay, so we'll spread these out now. And we'll get to picking our cards for the morning star to set the tone for the week. We're making the most of the Mondays. We're putting the morning star here in the Mondays. Help us for the week. So remember those cards that popped out that are intentions, right? We do not need to be aggressive about them, right? When we open it up, that comes grace and ease. With grace and ease, you need to open up to the grace and ease. Open up to grace and ease. This can't be forced. That's why you need to open up to it. You can't force it. I guess you could. I mean, you can do whatever, but it doesn't mean it's going to work, right? Maybe. I don't know. Ouch. Okay. So, morning start. We start... Oh, some chills. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all your love and support. Thank you. Oh, chills. Whew. Okay. So, the candle. I kept looking at the candle. I wanted to light that before we pick the card. So, let's light the candle. Let's see if it'll stay going. Maybe I trimmed the wick too short. There we go. The silver lining. Right? Brought it over to Mondays for the silver lining. Now, if it's the wind, maybe I can, but then I don't want to block the candle for you. Anyways, let's just get a move on. Oh, thank you again. No, I love the chills. Okay, so the main, here we go. Hmm. The main theme of this week for this morning star, main lesson to focus on, main path that we all may be walking. It's our own path. It's the same lessons on these paths. The human path. Right here. Right here. Right? And then we have the blessings to be thankful for all the live long day. Or since we're doing the week, right? The blessings to be thankful for all week long. Right? And the animal that's helping us to clearly see those blessings. And be grateful for those blessings. Okay, and then we have over here the challenges, the lessons that will be there this week. Lessons. This one, okay. And this was the animal that wanted to come out with that. Okay, and then at the top of our morning star spread, we have our gifts. So first is that gift from morning star gift from Morningstar. What is the Morningstar's gift to us this week? Morningstar's gift to us this week. Right there. And we have Grandfather Son. Grandfather Son's gift to us this week. Grandfather Son's gift to us this week. It's right here. And now our gift to share this week. What is our gift to share this week? What is a gift we have that we can cultivate inside of us to share out this week? this one okay sounds good to me and this one right here look at that okay and then we're gonna pick these all up and I see a totem on the bottom nope that's a path so and then so today here's a focus for today in this maybe maybe it'll go into this week too but since we have a top and a bottom card here we'll do that focus for today the field of plenty wasn't that up at the top. What have we already manifested in our lives? Was it something that we moved out of the way and we allowed just to come in? It seemed as if by magic. Or is it, did we push, 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 right? Let's think about that transformation. Did we allow that to happen easily, right? And just allow it to take place, right? Just follow those urges like the caterpillar. How does it know? It just it gets hungry. So it follows that, that feeling or that urge, right? It's just going to eat, 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 eat. It might not know. It's a caterpillar, right? It doesn't know. 
I'm just eating. I'm just eating. Oh my goodness. The caterpillar doesn't think I need to go on a diet. I'm eating way too much. It's getting ready. It's preparing, right? Because something's coming. Maybe it doesn't know exactly what's coming. Right? And it gets in this cocoon. I'm putting this stuff all around me. Ooh, I'm turning into goo. This doesn't feel good. Oh, I don't like this. Right? And, oh, now I'm starting to feel cramped. Right? Got to get out there. Oh, I'm a beautiful butterfly. Right? However that goes. So look at that. What, how have you manifested your ideas and needs? Do you think you did that yourself? Or was it something where you got out of the way and allowed it to work through you? In your best interest and the highest and best interest of all. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Let's see. Okay, and then the main theme for the week overall, right? Getting in touch with that innocence. Isn't that what we've been talking about? Healing those inner children, being able to play. Okay, excuse me. I'm going to get the dog out before she drives me freaking crazy. Because I don't like the tarsh tone to come out when I'm talking to you. Right? It's about gentleness. I don't want you to hear my aggressive tones. I'm peaceful, loving. Never get angry. Yeah, right. <laughs> we all do. I'm a human being. You know what? I let it go a little bit more now. Mm-hmm. My poor kids. Don't worry. They're not going to be the only one to see it, right? So. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I can't even be too serious about that, right? Dang. I wonder nobody takes me seriously. They get angry and say, stop doing that to me. Oh, I'm just kidding. <laughs> anyway, so. Playful innocence. Let's let's reconnect with those inner children. And look at that at the bottom of the spread. It would be in the south position there too. It's kind of that's kind of cool at the bottom of the spread. And that self-esteem, right? To build up who we are, right? Looking back and reflecting where we have come from. This is so special to me, that moose. Be a moose, right? Moose will stand in front of that Mack truck, right? It don't matter. It knows knows who he is. He knows he's a big guy, right? Even the smallest moose. Oh, I just saw a little posting today. It was cute. It was like a baby moose chasing around a baby bear. It was so cool to see the moose chasing the bear. Oh, chills, because I was cutting these decks today and I cut to, to you know, flick the cards, whatever, and I cut right on moose and it was um, West Shield. That had a special meaning for me, too. I had to take a picture of it. I started crying, but anyways. Anyways, so today, that's our theme for this week, is getting in touch with that innocence and that inner child, playing this week, right? Knowing who you are, standing firm in who you are, not letting anybody else tell you who you are, right? Who lives in you? You, right? The only one, if there's anyone that knows you better than you, your source, your creator, okay? No human being knows you better than you, all right? Every other human being is being human too, okay? Right? This is a human experience. So that's what to focus on. The innocence. Everyone is having an innocent. Everyone is themselves. So we need to focus on ourselves. So that's why I told my kids, if you're out there saying, hey, you're not doing your job. Hey, you're not doing your job. Hey, you're not bringing peace to earth. Hey, you're not being kind. Hey, those actions are rude. Are you looking at yourself? What are you getting done then? Right? Right? You're over there policing everybody else. Well, the ant came up. The ant doesn't need. It doesn't need a boss. It doesn't need a supervisor to say, hey, you go do this. I mean... Neither do we, really. Maybe some of us do, okay? But there's that guy that we know that job we need to do, and we go and do it, okay? That's the place to get in touch with, that innocence. Reconnect with that innocence. What did you want to be when you grew up, right? That, that, that innocent child kind of knew. It kind of knew. I mean, from my own experience, I'm in line with what my little wanted to be when she grew up too, right? We're getting there. We're getting there. But, you know, so I might have lost sight of that, right? Well, sometimes, sometimes we need to look back and go, wow, what has come to us? What ideas and needs did get manifested? What kind of cycles maybe did we break, right? Did we embrace the unknown and change those? Like, look at those just keeps coming up. So look at that. That's, the, that's what to keep in mind today. What's our intentions? To reconnect with that inner child, right? To, to build that self-esteem in ourselves. Not that we're better or worse than any, but that we are somebody, we're innocent here like every other human being, no exceptions, right? We're being human, right? Going with whatever these small brains, right, can come up with to this infinite universe, whatever that is. Okay, let's carry on here. So the blessings all week, the change. 
the rites of passions. What have we changed, right? We're not those little kids anymore, but they're still alive in here, right? Those little bodies are gone, but they're still alive in here. So what have we changed? And we're gathering back together all those pieces of us, all those pieces that we were ashamed of, that we hid in the dark or whatever, that somebody else said that wasn't good, gathering back all of that to us to be whole, full, and complete, to be who we are, to stand true in who we are, to have that confidence like Moose, right? I'm here. I'm me. And I am proud because there's no other me, right? There goes my phone. We'll see what happens with that one. So gathering back all the energies, that's that's what we're doing this week. That's the blessings of this week, to look at the changes that we've made and go, you know what? One hand up. Everybody, right now, no exceptions. Everybody put your hand up. Okay. Cross it over your chest and then reach around. Pat yourself on the back. Good for you, man. Good for you. Now give yourself great big hugs. Oh, yeah. Ow, I hurt my neck. You deserve it. Okay. You deserve that. Be proud of yourself and remember to do that. Okay. For that little. You reach around and give that little pat on that back. Okay, you're here. You made it to adulthood. Wow. Look at you grow. <laughs> Good for you. Love it. Okay, so now here's the challenges or the lessons that might come up. The victory. Sometimes we might not see it as a victory. Some things don't seem like such a victory. Things like going on in my family right now doesn't always seem like such a victory, but I got to look around. This is a victory. I'm, I'm in my begin with at home. That's a victory. What all that energy that came in doesn't feel like a victory, but it is, right? Because so we took the action to change that, right? So that's the lesson. And the challenge today is taking that action to turn a defeat into a victory, okay? To, to turn something that seems like a defeat into the victory, right? This action comes in that's like ant too, right? They know the antelope saw a need, a need for the people because they were freezing. They were starving when the winter came. So Antelope went to Creator and said, I see a need for the people I would like to offer because I see that I could fulfill this need. I have the skin that keeps me warm. I have flesh. They could eat it, right? So it's seeing that. It's looking within. That's the challenge. To take something inside that maybe if I was at fault and turn that into, you know, take action on that and, and, and hone that ability. Whatever that is for you, it's all different. It's not going to look the same to you as to somebody else. Or maybe it does. Right? For you to find out for yourself. That's that challenge to find that within you for the actions that you're going to take this week. Right? To spread your gift around. To bring yourself all together. To play a little. To get in touch with that innocence. Right? And there's our gift for Morning Star. The North Shield. There's the wisdom to be grateful for all that you have, all the ideas and needs that you've manifested already, the transformations that you've already gone through. Or maybe looking at where you are in the transformation. Are you that hungry little caterpillar eating up as much as you can to take that into the cocoon, into that introspection time, and to burst forth as that beautiful butterfly would be in those wisdom years, right? And White Buffalo brought the Dakota Lakota people the peace pipe, right? So that's the wisdom. Wisdom is being grateful because, you know, being grateful brings you more to be grateful for, right? What you focus on is what's going to come in, okay? What you intend to feel is what you're going to feel, right? That's the innocence. Here we go. We're tapping down to that innocence. We got double 11 there. 11, 11. That's so true. Porcupine. That innocence. Tapping in to that innocence because we all are. You know, porcupine, the story of porcupine goes with porcupine and bear. Porcupine just want to play with bear. Bear's like all grumpy old bear. No, porcupine, I don't want to play. Porcupine goes playing fun. You know, you got, can't be grumpy all day. You know, I mean, you could be grumpy all day, but you don't, you don't you want to play? No, I don't want to. But then bear softened his heart. Saw that this, this little porcupine just kept wanting to play with him. He was so grumpy, but porcupine still just wanted to play. That's the innocence. Look at children, right? They love you. You can be grumpy at them, whatever. They come and give you hugs anyway. They love you. No matter what. So let's treat them with kindness. Let's treat her in littles with kindness. Okay? Especially if they didn't get that when they were younger. Okay? Especially when they didn't get it when they were little. Let's be there for them. And let's look at the times because it wasn't all bad. Sometimes, right, we can get all the beautiful compliments in the world. Somebody says one negative compliment to us, comment or whatever, and that's all we can hear. Right? We've had thousands of positive comments comments we get one negative one and our brain focuses on that maybe that's our strive to be better our strive to be as perfect as our creator i don't know 
What's that for you? But we're innocent in that. We all have that. We're all being human here. So that's the gift from Morning Star for us to, to notice all that stuff that we brought in and that we are still innocent. We are still innocent. Okay, no shame. No shame, no blame. Okay? Grandfather's son is returning home. Coming home, right? It's how you feel warm, right? Out in the sun that warms you up too. The shawl is bringing home. Remember all the grandmothers and stuff being wrapped up and warm in your grandmother's shawl? Be used for carrying apples or whatever, or the aprons on the front, right? So bringing home to yourself, that's grandfather's son, right? We just called in all those things to bring back the set sound shield. We're coming home to ourselves and building our self-esteem and being firm in who we are, standing strong as a moose in who we are, because I know who I am, right? There we go, pretty weak. Right, we, we return home and then we give away, we say thank you. So then we give away that self-expression of who we are. This is me, we dance in joy. And as we're doing that, we're subliminally, subliminally giving permission to others to do the same. Dance with joy, return home, be you fully and holy. Right, it's also powwow season where people come together to celebrate. Communities come together to celebrate. Only bring the best of the best. So, that's grandfather, son's gift to us, okay? To return home and that give away to release up, right? We can give it up to spirit and don't take it back. We don't know better than spirit, okay? We got human brains. We can tap in to the creator source. We still have human brains and it will process through our human brains and these human bodies. Very important though, all these sensations, all these feelings give us keys. They're here to teach us, right? Like a computer, it needs all the parts for it to work. We need all these parts to process information and to get to the root of it, to get to the clarity, to get to the true intent, right? It's the expression of love and life to the fullest and enjoying it to the fullest, right? We can learn through joy or pain. Mm -hmm. Joy or suffering, it's our choice. So let's stop. We've got enough suffering in this world we can look back on. Let's start looking through the eyes of love and living full-on joy for the beautiful beings that we all are, for the innocent beings we all are. No exceptions. Okay. And then our gift to share is that power place is inside here. That was something that came to me a long time ago. Ego. We think ego is a bad thing. We got to get rid of the ego. Ego. No, bad, 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 bad. That helps us keep that individuality, which we need, which is a gift from creator source because it's source getting to know itself in all its different expressions. So if we were just all the same, how is that exploring the many different sides of the many shades of creator, right? Earth grounding origin, right? E-G-O, earth grounding origin, right? Maybe. This is what grounds our spirit to the earth. This is this body connects the spirit to the earth. Earth connection and empowers us, right? Here's a, here's a grounding source too. Moose. It's got its earth grounding source, its body, physical thing, and it stands strong in it, right? And not an ego, I'm better than you, I'm better than that. I am Moose. I'm just going to be me. That's all he says. He's not going to try to be anything else. I'm Moose, right? And this is my home. He'll stand, he'll stand guard in his territory too, right? Mm-hmm. Let's all be a little Moose. Right? That's our connection. That's our source. And we can cleanse that out. Cleanse it out to think that we are not. Th cleanse it out that we have to deny this part of us. You don't have to deny any part of you. Okay, because what you resist persists. So let's clear that we're human beings. We're all susceptible to the same emotions, but the way you don't feel or express them in the same ways. Okay? Earth connection. Let's cleanse out that connection. Let's cleanse out those thoughts of everything that we're not. We're left with what we are. Who we are. Great oneness divine. We're all part of this. No exceptions. So... 
There we go. Wow, that's a good one for the week. Woo! Okay, right? I can't flip this around. Oh, maybe I can just tilt it this way. Can you see the cards if I just tilted it? Kind of, sort of. If I just leave it lying like that. Where is it? There. Okay, right? So we have our... Here, let me just move them around. Maybe you can see them like that. Right there. Shut them around, right? So that's our... Yep. Oh, I have to move this back. Oh, the candle went out again. Okay, well, we're, we're done anyway. Let me just see if I can get this to hold that. Like that. Right? Is that working? Can you see okay? Oh my goodness. Ouch! Right? <laughs> I guess it was still on. I just stuck my hand in it. Okay, I'll hold it like this. Whoo! Goodness gracious. Okay, these were up here. We're just going to swap these around for you so you have a look. Self-esteem. Right, that's the little last sin. Right, I see them okay. Put my hand up this way. Oh, there goes my phone again. Okay. There we go. So we're gathering all together, seeing the changes that we have, you know, becoming, we're those innocent. We're the innocent. We're building our self-esteem here. Okay, this is our week. Right, we're being thankful for what we have. Grandfather's son is helping us to return home. Return home to who we are, right? And then we give away all that we are not. Giving it up. Look at that, 11, 12. Being grateful. Again, porcupine, the innocence, right? We're innocence, we're changing. And then our gift to share is that earth connection. We're all part of this earth. No exceptions, right? So we can cleanse out that we're any different than anybody else. We're all human beings on this earth. Okay? There we go, no exceptions. So on the field of plenty. What have we manifested already? Going through those transformations. Beautiful, beautiful beings. Okay, there we go, good. All right, thank you, beautiful beings. Oh, that hurt. Love you. Biggest heart hugs ever. Mwah. Thank you for being you and shining your light through. All that you do, because you know it, this world needs you. It sure does. Thank you. I love you. Have a wonderful week. See you tomorrow.